I've looked at a lot of these triple monitor stands for laptops and this one has the least amount of features. And that's a good thing? It might be. Let's talk about why. I use OEM keys for a few different reasons. This is the price you're gonna pay for Windows 11 Pro. If you get a retail key, let's check those prices on whokeys.com. $30, no, we can do better. Put in TS25, click apply. There we go, 2322. Let's say you wanna get a copy of Windows 10 Pro. Let's click on buy it now. Coupon code TS25, hit apply, and watch that price come down. There we go. The other thing is OEM keys are generally locked to your hardware. So if you move it from one motherboard to another, you may need to get another key, but you'll have to get many, many, many keys to equal the price of one retail key. If you need Office, you're also gonna be able to get those same deals, 25% off on Office 2019 and 2016. These are offline versions of Office without monthly fees. Let's go ahead and check out with our copy of Windows 11 Pro. All right, just put in my card info. There we go. Click on View Keys and Codes. Once you get to the User Center, click on Get the Key. You'll see your key right here in the middle. Go ahead and highlight that, copy that, hit Start, type Activate, and then right here it says Not Active. That's okay. Just click on Change Product Key, paste in our product key, press Next, and then click on Activate. Hey, look at that. Head over to WhoKeys.com. Thanks to them for sponsoring. And now on to our regularly scheduled program. So this is the KYY 15.6 inch triple portable monitor uh thing <laughs> it's x 90 d now you have two 15.6 inch monitors and you can fold them all the way around 360 degrees so you can fold one in the back you can have them both just all the way across like portrait mode a lot of different configurations you can mess around with but i said that this one is the least configurable and that's a good thing well you can't put it into quite as many positions as some of the monitors out there you can do a lot and we'll cover all that in a minute but it's super simple when it comes to plugging in it only requires one USB C cable and that will power on both of the 15.6 inch screens at the same time if you're using an older device that doesn't support both power delivery and video delivery well then you'll just need to use like a, maybe an hdmi to usb USB-C adapter for the first plug and then the second plug you can plug into a wall outlet and that will be uh, your USB-C power but still that's only two cables whereas a lot of these will require four cables to do the same thing in the worst case scenario you'll need two cables but most of the time with any modern computer tablet or whatever you're just going to need the one cable now speaking of tablets this one also works really really well with tablets and that's what i'm testing it with right here so you've got the two 15.6 inch screens and then we have like a back plate with the kickstand on the back it doesn't really move around there's nice feet on it so it doesn't like slip and slide all over your desk now this doesn't lean forward too awful far if you wanted to like have it 90 degrees you're not going to do that but i don't think anyone's using your laptop with it you know vertically folded straight up you need to lean it back a little bit so it doesn't tip forward because um, you know these are 15.6 inch screens they have some weight to them so let's talk about what you can use with this it'll work with a 12 inch to a 17.3 inch laptop you got plenty of room there now one of the beauties of this is that um, you know you've got something that'll work with something that big well it'll also work with tablets and that's been a problem for me in the past with some of the other monitor extender things and that's because a lot of the USB-C ports on a tablet are up on the screen and not down on the keyboard base area so it's hard to plug them in if the you know the screens are just like smacked on the side well, this one gives me enough room that I can plug in the USB-C stuff to my actual tablet which is up on the top. Now, when I said it's the least configurable, what did I mean? Well, you can't really adjust it too awful much because, you know, the back plate and the side monitors are that size. You just put your laptop in the middle. You don't adjust the, the screens in and out. You don't slide them together or anything. If there's a gap, well, then there, there's going to be a gap. That's just the way it's going to be. I didn't find it to be that big of a deal. I just kind of folded it around. And yeah, there may be a little bit, maybe an inch on each side, depending on the size of monitor or the size of laptop you have. There might be a little bit of space. But if you're using something like a bigger laptop, 15.6 inch or 17 inch, it's not going to be that big of a deal at all. And if you're using a smaller laptop, like 14 inch, they do make a 14 inch version of this, which I will link below low and there's versions that are compatible with everything if you only need windows there's a less expensive version that's compatible only with windows for the 14 inch and then for this version and the other 14 inch version it's compatible with mac android and windows now it does say that you can bend these around 360 degrees however when you do that you gotta you know keep in mind that there's a kickstand back there so you can't just fold it flat or whatever because that'll hit the kickstand so someone sitting directly across from you you can just fold it around most of the way and not use the kickstand anymore so the triangle pattern is pretty cool because you got your you know your laptop or whatever in the middle and the front and then if you have people sitting around the table like a conference table you can have the other monitors mirrored or whatever and then fold them into a triangle so you like have people around the table you know able to see what's on the screen 
The last thing that you can do is lay this on the table and then just fold up one monitor if you wanted to have one monitor in portrait mode. This can be good in a pinch. I would not recommend buying this just to use it this way because you're, you know, essentially buying two monitors and only using one of them. But, you know, ever needed to have a, a vertical setup, go ahead and do that. Just note that you will need 15 inches for the stand because the other monitor is going to be laying, you know, flat holding the other one up. But I think it is cool that you can do this if you needed a portrait mode monitor for whatever reason. So while that's not the reason to purchase this, it is cool to have that as an extra option. Let's talk about the color quality and everything like that. So this is a 15.6 inch IPS display. It's 1080p, 16.7 million colors, and this has a 1200 to 1 contrast ratio. It's also 60 hertz. Now, I think a lot of modern displays are going to look at least as good as this. It's, I mean, it looks good enough to like edit videos or edit Photoshop files or you know whatever on you can edit stuff on this it does have good enough color accuracy being an IPS display you're gonna have nice bright colors but it's not gonna have as good of a contrast as an OLED of course but that's gonna be a lot more expensive and it's not gonna have even as good of contrast as like an AHVA panel which can be sometimes a little smaller a little less expensive they're not quite as accurate when it comes to color and vibrance but uh, they do have better black levels than this so it's up to you I think this is totally fine for what most people are gonna do because we got to talk about something these are side monitors they're not middle monitors. If, usually if I'm going to watch a movie, I like to watch it on my middle monitor. Let's talk about what's in the box. So we got a couple USB-C cables. One's USB-C to USB-C and there's a, a little adapter for USB-C to USB-A that comes with it. And then we have a USB-C to USB type A cable. They've included a USB stick with display drivers. It was plug and play for me so I didn't need that. Then we have a type C power cable that comes in the box and a manual. The unit itself is really sturdy. I like the fact that it doesn't feel flimsy and it doesn't flop around. Some of these have all these extra pieces that I do like being able to configure. You know, I like being able to configure all my all my screens in one way, but there's something to be said for, sure, we'll just go with it. Well, there's something to be said for the simplicity of this. It's just a handle, you lay it down, you fold out one monitor, you fold out the other one, and you're good to go. Also, I really like that there's buttons on the front of these screens, not on the back. So if you want to adjust the contrast, the sharpness, the black levels, all that is right there on the front. You can do the blue light, low blue light thing and all that if you want to like, it's not saving your eyes. There's no more, there's no scientific data for that. They always say it's saving your eyes. No, it's just blue light can affect your circadian rhythm. So turn that on at night if you want to. It's up to you, but it does have the low blue light thing as well. But we have the menu buttons right on the front. We're gonna have to be fumbling around with things all the time. Whenever I'm messing with monitors these days, I'm always like, let me just see if I can change the settings on this monitor. Where's the joystick? Oh, it's got, and you can't see what the buttons are and they're not labeled. These are right there on the front and they're labeled. I don't know why I spent so much time talking about that, but I think I'm maybe angry after messing with a bunch of monitors and having to always figure out what all the stupid menu buttons do. So it's nice to have them on the front, yes. Now, when it comes to like, I don't know, watching movies and playing games and all that, it looks fine. I mean, it looks like an IPS display. It, it looks like what it is. It's better than like what I would even need for a side monitor. And that's, you know, the whole time I'm using it, I'm thinking, these are side monitors. These are side monitors. They're not my primary display. These are extensions. These are for doing extra work, but they're they're fine. They look good. They're IPS displays. You know, it's like they don't need to be full on OLED gaming displays, I don't think. And they even know it. Like right here on their, this is their marketing. It's funny. Like, so like this person right here, like this is on their own thing. They know you're going to be using your, this is a tablet with that ugly notch and everything. They Like this person is using this ugly tablet with a notch over the side monitor, which is kind of weird. They're just like, hey, I'll put all my, my corporate uh, sponsored thumbnails over here on this one. And then this can be whatever. I don't know. They know. They know that they're side monitors. Now, as far as the pricing goes, two 15.6 inch screens. I think this price right now at the time of making the video is 400 bucks. $200 a screen plus the stand and the portability. You're paying for the portability for sure. Do I think it's a good value? I think it's somewhere in the middle. I mean, it's like if it goes on sale, yeah, it's good value. If you want this exact, exact thing, yeah, that's it's good. Um, the ease of use and being able to plug it in, you're paying for all of that. You're paying for the fact that this is streamlined and simple and easy to use. The others that I looked at, even though their stands have more configuration options and you can put your screens in different positions and all that, this one has several different options, but not as many. The benefit with this one is that you just plug it in and you're done. You can set this up in 20 seconds. The other ones take, I don't know, four or five minutes to set up. I'm not joking, they're they're fussy, you have to like, but I like them, and I might end up using one of those because I like having one vertical and one horizontal screen, but it's gonna require four or five minutes of setup. If you don't need to do that, 
then this is so much easier. If you're taking it from place to place, it's got a handle. You know, that, all that's factored into the, the value proposition that we're looking at right here. So if this meets your needs, it's by far the easiest. And I think there's something to be said for that. Overall, you'll be the judge when it comes to like what's in your price range and whether or not this is worth it. So you let me know what you think of the KYY 15.6 inch triple portable monitor X90D. See you in the comments. Thank you.